Alrighty, everybody. So um, I know I just gave my presentation video, but I wanted to add this video of just me navigating through the project I was referencing so you can kind of see um, what it looks like for a student to navigate through a Google Earth Voyager tour. Um, so here we go. So uh, this is one that I created uh, with a group of peers last semester in the Ed Simulations course. Really awesome course. If you haven't taken it, I would highly recommend it. Um, so here we go. Visiting the Netherlands. So it starts with just a overhead view of the Netherlands, kind of focusing on the Amsterdam area right here. Um, it's got an introductory slide. Um, on our project, we included a link to all of the questions that would be asked throughout the tour so that students could reference those as they move through the tour, be able to um, look for them ahead of time and, and to go back and see those. Um, so just uh, making it more user friendly for the students. Uh, so here we go. So section one is on history, as you can see the table of contents over here to the left. Um, and then as we navigate to our first location, Dam Square in the center of Amsterdam. This is where Amsterdam was believed to have gotten its origin. So this is where the history portion began. Um, so as you can see here, it takes you straight to a view of the map. Um, students can actually interact throughout this map. Um, they can see different people, different locations at the time. Um, um, as I mentioned in my presentation, uh, here is a question that asks the students to interact with the map. So um, in this question, they're asked to find a nearby 15th century historical church. Um, the way that students would do this is they would navigate out of that view and then you can see here that now they can navigate through the map of Amsterdam and then if you look right here we have a 15th century church um, so something that's kind of neat about this is they can click on the people view and then all of these dots and lines that are highlighted with this light blue color are places that you can click and it will take you um, for a street view. So if I click this one right here in front of the church, you can see it brings me straight down um, to the streets here in Amsterdam. And then you can turn um, and actually see, oh, that's not it. Oh, here it is. So here is the actual church um, that students can see, and then they can navigate around the map if they wanted to. Um, but just all these features that really increase um, engagement um, in something like a social studies or history lesson, getting students to see these, these real life locations, what they look like today, um, so I'll jump to a few more sections, kind of just skipping around so you can see how these features work and then I'll show you um, how we have a quiz set up. Um, so one thing that I thought was kind of cool was in the environment section, um, if you click on wind power now, you can see, as I was mentioning, one of those downsides of having fast internet and a very capable computer was it took a second to load that location and I have a nice high speed internet and a brand new MacBook Pro. So I'm showing you that it, it is kind of a, a, a pretty beefy program here. So uh, wind power then. So here is a historical windmill area of the Netherlands that students can kind of see, which is pretty neat to see, you know, a little more of what the Netherlands looked like um, during this time period. Um, but then if they were to click on the next one, it's wind power now. So it takes them to another location in the Netherlands um, where we are doing um, more modern approaches to um, wind power. So something kind of neat. I believe there's even a ship. You can see the people that work here. Yeah, here they are. So kind of cool. Um, this, this real world experience that students are getting, right? This is a job. People are out here doing this, um, kind of opening up the eyes to other people. Then if you see over here, uh, one of my classmates added a video. There's links here and, and some more information and as well as a question to interact with the map here. Um, 
so now let me go ahead and jump to the quiz section so you can kind of see how we created it and what it looked like. Um, so here's the quiz and then as they would go through, um, we did a series of multiple choice questions. So now students are getting a question um, related to information that they received throughout the tour and now they can answer these questions with these multiple choice options. Um, so as you can see, as I kind of went over some of those main features, it really is a cool interactive experience for lessons that might be otherwise somewhat dry um, reading from a textbook. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys learned a few things. And if you have any other questions about Google Earth Voyager, please don't hesitate to reach out.